again and welcome to this H4 Alien 680mm frame um, and we will finally start mounting some electronics um, but first of all we're going to make the bottom here uh, more smooth, more plain um, because as you can see um, on your own frame the, the screws here sticks about about a couple of millimeters out from the frame and we're going to try to minimize that. So what we're going to do is um, flip this over and you're going to unscrew these um, spacers then you're going to take a three and a half millimeter drill and you're going to drill out the hole. The screw can now fit all the way down um, into the hole and be tightened even more. So that's what we want to do with all of the screws, except for the screws for the arms. Remount all the parts with Loctite. Now that we have Loctite everything up um, and made sure that everything is as strong as it can be, we're going to mount the pixel and we're going to mount it in the middle. And in the middle, in this frame, looks like it's actually further back than it really is. Um, as you can see here, just try to line up the screws so it has um, sort of the same distance from the screw to this spacer than this screw to this space. Then you know you're approximately in the, in the middle. Or you can just look at these marks here and know that you'd have the equal distance from this to these marks and the identical marks over here. And uh, what you also need to be aware of is that the front of this quad is actually where the um, frame is less wide so it is where the arms fold in and line up um, to the frame and not to the arm that comes over here so the front should be pointing that way so we're going to mount the pixel with some uh, double-sided foam tape and just two or three layers of that should be just fine and should eliminate um, vibrations if any come. So now we've got four double-sided foam tape on both sides and we want to mount it with the same distance right there and we want to make sure that it's properly pointing forward right there and then just push it down. Okay now we're going to mount the switch here on the back of the frame in one of these holes um, that's already pre-drilled it's actually a perfect fit um, so what we want to do is we want to take off the switch of course and then move it up through this hole so it will be facing downwards that switch it's much easier access here than this on the top plate and on the top plate we of course want to mount batteries so that's not a possibility and then when you pull it up through that hole and make sure that it's completely tight you want to go ahead and mount this um, this uh, wire here for the switch and as you can see on the back side here we have the switch pointing out from, from the hole right here so you can press that um, but we want to make sure that it is completely uh, mounted so what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to grab a um, we're going to grab a hot glue gun and mount it um, with some hot glue all right now we want to mount um, the landing gear on the um, frame so we're going to just um, lay this over just to get an idea of how it's going to look and where it is going to be um, because there's a lot of screws here that we want to um, to avoid so if we can get it right there so right there is a good spot um, the camera is almost exactly under um, the uh, the pixel uh, almost in the center and um, we're going to compensate for that with the battery um, and the arms here is almost uh, hidden everywhere um, so now we're just going to find the middle so right there 
is good. And we're going to get some clamps here. So right now that's holding this side in place. I'm going to get a clamp over there as well. So just mount two clamps here and there because we want to drill these a little bit out so we can actually get the screws up here. And we want to um, drill over here um, because we can actually mount the two screws right here. You can see one of them is actually up. The other one just needs a bit of drilling. So mount two clamps and then we're going to flip it upside down and drill from underneath because there's the holes already. So once you've drilled holes from the um, underside and up, um, you can see the two screws are poking up right there in that side and right here and there in this side. And then you want to um, mount, mount it with the same nuts that you did with the other one. So these lock nuts here. Um, but you want to do it um, with Loctite this time because um, as you can probably see there's not much um, thread in these screws. So um, you want to use Loctite to make sure it is sticking perfectly and it will be there. Um, despite vibrations. Also I'm going um, to mount some uh, glass fiber tape right here. Some glass fiber tape around here and around here just to make sure it stays there. So uh, thank you for watching uh, this video um, where we mounted the Pixhawk, um, the switch, uh, safety switch and the landing gear. Um, and this platform here for, for an FPV camera. Um, so uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and stay tuned for further videos um, where we in the next video I believe we will be waterproofing um, the ESCs and the power module. So uh, stay tuned for that and uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.